Okay, so as I was saying, there are three criteria when it comes to bearings. So first of all, right, okay, there's always a reference point that we're going to be uh, discussing about. And at the, at the reference point, right, I need you to actually draw this uh, north, south, east, west, okay, that arrow, all right, to tell us where is the north direction. Okay, that north direction is very important. Because the way that we're going to measure the angle, okay, the bearing itself, it must always be from clockwise, okay, from north itself. I will talk more about that later. And lastly, the criteria is that it must be a three-digit number. So if your angle that you have in the end is, for example, 20 degrees, we cannot write it as simple 20 degrees for a bearing. If the question asks for uh, uh, a bearing itself, okay, instead of writing 20 degrees, you've got to write 0 to 0 degrees. So you need to put a single zero at the front, okay, to write it as a three-digit number. Alright? So let me start with some question. If the question were to ask, okay, so this is the question itself, we give you this. If they ask for the bearing of A from O, okay, so the phrasing will typically be in this manner. So when it says that it is from O, okay, that means that O is the reference point. And in this case, O is over here. Okay, so at O itself, I have already drawn out this set of direction axis. Alright, so I have already drawn that. If we want to find a bearing of A from O, A is actually this point over here. Okay, so how this angle is going to be taken will be that from north itself, we measure clockwise. Okay, so it must be in this direction. Therefore, the answer will be 70 degrees. Alright? So, but then instead of writing 70 degrees, because of the criteria that it must be a 3 digit number, we cannot simply write our answer as 70 degrees. We must write it as 0, 7, 0 degrees. So, this is a very common mistake, okay? That when we are rushing to write our answer, we forget that it is a 3 digit number. So, it must be written in this manner. Alright? Any questions? Okay. Then, if I were to find the bearing of B for O, so same thing from O, it is the reference point we have already drawn in the axis. Okay, B is this point over here. Alright, so the angle that we will have to consider is this one. Okay, because it must be clockwise from the north line all the way to the line connecting O and B. Okay? Sometimes the question may not have drawn for you the line connecting O and B. So you may have to connect that. Okay? So maybe let me add on this measure clockwise from N to Uh, method or a single step solution. 
function to find out what is this variant. How will we find the variant? How should we go about it? Joshua, what do you think? You cannot mumble now, you cannot read your name. Yes. You need to take off your mask. Yeah. 90 minus? Uh -huh. Okay, so what Joshua says is to take 90 minus away 40.5 plus 180. Okay, uh, that is fine, alright? Nothing wrong with that. But I also want you to realize that because you're looking at three quadrants, one right angle here, two right angle, three right angle, I need you all to realize that it's going to be 270 degrees. Okay, so these are special numbers 90, 180, 270, 360. Okay, so actually what we could do to simplify this lengthy working is to write instead 270 degrees minus 40.5 degrees. Right? I'm not saying that what Joshua says is wrong. That will give him the correct answer as well. Not a problem at all. So answer will be 229.5 degrees. Just that maybe 270 minus 40.5 might be more straightforward also. And then lastly, if I want to find the bearing of D from O, okay, how should I be getting the answer? What would you recommend? Uh, Jin Yang, what do you think? 360 minus? Very good, okay? The answer will be 360 degrees minus 35 degrees. Right? And the answer will be 325. And the reason for that is because we are looking at this big angle here. Okay? Any questions? So now that we have the basics for bearing settled already, let me go to practice now 3 from your textbook.
you think uh, you should, what do you think should be?
we done? Yes. Okay, then uh, Joseph, tell me what's the answer. Uh, 150. 150, very good. Okay, so we get 150 because, okay, we can see that this whole angle is 180 degrees. We've got alternate angles going on. Okay, and we get this to be 30 degrees. So 180 minus 30. And we get 150. Any other methods? Okay, there will be many different methods when it comes to angle properties. Okay, so uh, it really depends on the logical sequencing that you have. Alright? Now, I want you to spend the next about maybe 5 minutes or so. Okay, I want you to do question 2 on your own to find the bearing as required.
to half a minute. No?
when that happens, we might be thinking about angles, elevation and depression sometimes. Okay. Question continues to say that P is due south of R. So, uh, sorry, south of Q. So that will actually tell us that it is one continuous straight line over here. Because if they did not say that P is from uh, is due south of Q, right? There is a chance that it will be drawn in this manner, where Q, P, and R. And then I have my north line here. So there is that possibility. So that statement itself is very important in guiding you on how this uh, layout will be like. Okay? Then uh, it continues to say that the bearing of R from Q is 180 degrees and the bearing of R from P is 44 degrees. Even that the distance between Q and R is 150 meters, we want to find the distance between P and Q. Okay? So we're trying to find out this distance. Alright, what do you think we should do to find that distance? What should we apply? How should we go about finding? Sine rule, cosine rule? What would you choose? Uh, Joanne, what do you think? Sine rule. Why would you choose sine rule? Okay, so okay, so we find out what is angle QRP first. So what will angle QRP be? Sorry, how do you get seventy four?
points of an amusement park on level ground with A due north B. So that will suggest it is a continuous straight line from the north side to A to B. Then after that, given the angle B A C 68 degrees, uh, this is 250 and down here is 150 degrees, we want to find the bearing of B from C. Okay, uh, D will have to be a continuous straight line running down from A B D, that means they are collinear. Okay, because after all we are trying to see that this is 150 degrees, it has to be a straight line. Okay. So in part I, we want to find the bearing of B from C. So that means that we need to draw a reference point at C itself. Okay, so B from C, this will be the angle that we want. Right? So how should we go about finding out what is the bearing? What would the bearing be? Uh, answer, what will you have done? To find the bearing of B from C. If I want to apply exterior angle of triangle. 
right? That will be 47 degrees. Okay, so AC.